Barump Early Learning Academy, our goal is to provide a complete nurturing environment for the growth and development of the whole child, socially, emotionally, physically, and intellectually. Children are natural explorers and need hands-on experiences to help stimulate their own imaginations. We strive to meet the needs of each individual child at their developmental level through planned activities plus help each child attain a higher level of achievement. Call 751-5335 for more information. Today's news is brought to you in part by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. And here's Susan Cronin with this week's Save a Pet. Save a Pet, proudly brought to you by Draft Picks, located on Highway 160 and Postal Road. Hi, I'm Susan with Tales End, and this week we have Mouse. And I don't know why that's her name, but it is her real name. She was an owner surrender. She's an absolute sweetheart. There's a lot of red healer in her. She's already spayed, and she is ready to go home. And she's been here a while also, so please come and adopt. We're at, um, on the corner of Kitty Hawk and Siri Lane, and our phone number is 751-7020. You can call, visit, please do, and this, and just ask for Mouse. It should make a perfect addition to your family. Thank you. Save a Pet, proudly brought to you by Draft Picks, located on Highway 160 and Postal Road. And let's join Bill Moeller with today's First Business Brief. This is the First Business Brief for Friday, April 25th, and I'm Bill Moeller. Remember Heartbleed, one of the biggest vulnerabilities in the history of the Internet? Well, teaming up to prevent another such scare, more than a dozen tech companies, each committing $100,000 a year for the next three years, to protect open source projects. That's upon which so much of the internet depends. The Federal Communications Commission wants new net neutrality rules. The FCC is planning to allow broadband providers to charge companies more for access to their fastest routes. The rules would also allow providers to give preferential treatment to content providers willing to pay. But critics say the rules would destroy the open internet. Coffee prices already rising have gotten an additional push from drought in Brazil. Prices, in fact, have doubled in the past six months. Coffee futures at the moment are at their highest level in two years. That's the first business brief. I'm Bill Maher. We got some wild weather out there. We're going to tell you about what's in store for your weekend after this break with Noah Began and some announcements for this really busy weekend. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today is Friday, April 25th. Today we had cloudy skies and the high winds. Your high today was 76 degrees. Your average temperature around this time of year is 81 degrees. Winds were coming from the southwest today at 20 miles per hour according to John O'Brien at the weather station. The maximum high winds for today has been 40 miles per hour, but gusts will be blowing up to 48 miles per hour, so don't blow away. Um, the UV index today was 8, which is very high. Humidity was at 25 percent. Sunrise was at 5.58 this morning, and the record high in 1946 was 96 degrees. Tonight we'll have showers and high winds with a low of 48 degrees. Your average temperature at this time of year is 59 degrees, so our low will be considerably below what is average. Winds will be coming from the south-southwest at 16 miles per hour with gusts up to 28 miles per hour, so they'll be calming down a little bit, but still pretty high winds, so be careful out there. Humidity will be at 46%. Sunset will be at 7.27 p.m., and the record low in 1960 was 37. Tomorrow we'll have showers in the morning, but it will be clearing up in the afternoon. Our high for tomorrow will be 68 degrees, and your low will be 48 degrees. 
Winds will be coming from the west at 10 miles per hour with gusts up to 18 miles per hour. So the winds will die down a little bit as we go into tomorrow. Humidity will be at 40%. Sunrise will be at 5.57 a.m. And the UV index will be 9, which is very high. For our seven-day forecast, we'll have a mostly sunny week. Again, we'll have a 40% chance of showers tomorrow, and we might be seeing some clouds here on Thursday. Your high temperatures will be ranging from the high 60s to the high 80s, and your low temperatures will be ranging from the high 40s to the low 60s. Now, it'll be a little cooler tomorrow because of the rain we'll have going on, but it will warm up as we get towards the end of the week. I am Noah Beacon for your News 4 to 6 weather. Back to you at the desk. Thanks so much, Noah. And don't forget to stop by the Biz Expo tomorrow at the Prompt Nugget. And while you're there, tomorrow is Drug Take Back Day. Here in Pahrump, every day is Drug Take Back Day because you can drop off prescriptions uh, at Desert View Hospital or give the Nye County Sheriff's Office a call at 751-7000 for any prescription or non-prescription medications that you don't want. But tomorrow you can conveniently drop them off at the Prompt Nugget at the Nye Community Coalition booth. There's a green container right there that you can just simply drop them into. And the Relay for Life annual Powder Puff Derby will be held tomorrow night at the Prompt Valley Speedway. The gates open at 7 p.m. For more information on that, you can go to promptvalleyspeedway.com. Nathan Adelson Hospice is having a butterfly release Sunday beginning at 2 p.m. in the Calvada Eye. All are invited to attend. And the Prump Gunfighters is having their spring show at their location off Blag and Stagecoach Road Sunday beginning at 2 p.m. and admission is free to all. Tonight and tomorrow night, the Qantas Club is having their comedy night fundraiser at Sanders Family Winery on Kellogg Road. The show starts at 7 p.m. And don't forget to stop by Carol Ward Spa's one-woman show, Idle Hands, and that will be held tomorrow and Sunday at the Prump Valley Historical Museum on Basin. The show begins on both days at 10 a.m. Valley Electric Association is holding their annual meeting tomorrow at Prompt Valley High School in the Ca on Calvada Boulevard in the gym. It all begins at 11 a.m. and lunch is at 11.30. The meeting begins at 1 p.m. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and watch out there for that rain. That's going to do it for this edition of News 46. We'll see you back here on Monday. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Good night.